Giant clams are called that for a very good reason. They are the world's largest mollusk and can grow to almost four feet and weigh over 500 pounds. They all live on coral reefs in warm tropical waters, ranging from about East Africa through the Indo-Pacific to Tahiti. My name is Charlie Waters and I've been a part-time volunteer marine biologist here for the last 11 years. There are still a few clams left in the lagoon, but they are too far apart for reproduction to occur. That's what makes them functionally extinct. This graphic shows the relative decline of giant clam populations in the lagoon in just 12 short years. Their disappearance is important for ecological, economic, and nutritional reasons. If small colonies of young clams can be re-established, their numbers might grow to once again restore their population numbers. Raising giant clams for restoration is only half the battle. Once they're two to three years old, how do you go about transplanting them to their natural habitats in the lagoon? The good news is that we've recently developed a method for establishing small colonies of these young clams directly onto corals in the lagoon. The idea was that cages would reduce threats of predation and the effects of water turbulence on the clams until they were fully settled. A research team led by Timothy Foyle used circular cages to grow clams on concrete slabs. We modified the basic design. The cages are made of plastic rings, hula hoops actually, wire mesh, green shade cloth, and strong cable ties. Once the cages are built, we go to different parts of the lagoon and attach them directly to coral reefs. When the cages are securely in place, we put about 50 young clams inside for their protection. We leave the cages in place for about three weeks to allow the new clams to get fully settled. Once settled, we remove the cages so they can be used again in other locations. We found that using this approach produced exactly the results we were looking for. The blue and green lines on this graph shows the percentage of clams that survived in cages after 18 days. The red lines show the number of clams that died. By comparison, we can see that almost all the clams in cages had a much higher rate of survival. And it won't be long before these clams are having offspring and future generations to repopulate the lagoon. If you happen to live in an area of the world that has giant clams, perhaps you'd like to try building some cages yourself. Or perhaps you can form a partnership with island communities or schools. Use your social networks to raise funds and build cages and develop education programs. With some persistence and a little luck, you can help reverse local extinction of these magnificent creatures. <laughs>